Okay, guys, this is part five of Who the Hell Did I Just Marry? And I think this is about the finale. Now, before you watch this, watch part four. This is about a woman named Risa and how she ended up marrying a pathological liar. All her videos are now at 6 million views. So you know what to do. Get your tea and get your snacks. Because you already know. <laughs> that was the ugliest thing I've ever done. This is about to be good. <laughs> She's at 3.5 million followers now. Oh my God. Now, if you want to watch it yourself, you can go here. And the rest of you, you're with me. Come on. So where we left off. So how was your daughter? Barbara's like, what? My daughter is fine. What did he say about my daughter? Risa was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Because she caught Legion in another lie. And she's like, ah, I don't have the heart to tell this woman. I'm not, I'm not even going to start that mess. So Risa's like, he uh, said that she had COVID. Barbara's like, no, my daughter does not have COVID. She's doing fine. Reese is like, oh, of course. I'm glad your daughter's okay. And Barbara's like, see, that's the kind of man he is, bro. Don't believe anything he says, bro. It's not your fault. Do not blame yourself. Reese says thanks for the help, and then they get off the phone. Now, Reese had to take a long drive after everything she just heard. Man, we got to take a long drive or, or a blunt or a shot after what we just... <laughs> a couple days later, that turned Risa into the FBI, the CIA, Homeland Security, all at the same time. She doing her research just like that realtor told her to. Legion carries on business as usual. He don't know what Risa knows. He don't know Risa got a whole fucking Rico like young thug. A couple days later, Risa finds Legion's mother's obituary. And on it, it says who's going to carry her memories. It lists Legion's dad, his brother in Philly who had like a wife and daughter, and Legion's wife. But guys, it's not the ex-wife. It's a whole different wife. And her name is like Latoya. Reese is like, who the F is Latoya? Who the F is Latoya? Now, Legion's over here wobbling around the house. He ain't in crutches. I just, <laughs> this is the best picture I can find. Risa on the computer trying to figure it out. She put the other ex-wife's name, Latoya, in the public divorce records, and information just start coming up. It shows that Legion initiated this divorce, and the two of them once lived in Rhode Island for two years, which now makes sense why that Rhode Island kept coming up in the database. She tried looking for the dad's obituary, but there was no results. Now, Risa knew his grandmother's name, and something in her spirit told her to search it up. First, she checked the databases in Atlanta. Something came up and supposedly she died years ago. Then she went to a site called Legacy.com. And she found a match. Guys, it said she died in July 2008. And what made it sure it was her? On the obituary, it says, Here lies da, 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 the people that hold her memories, the brother in Philly, Legion with no spouse, the brother in Nashville. It did not list those two sisters, which confused Risa. Cause she's like, I swear I've been seeing this man talk to them or talk to somebody. Bruh, that means when Legion was crying about his grandma, she was already gone in 2008. This man is a monster. You're a monster. Now, as I said, Legion was basically bedridden. One thing that wasn't a lie was the pain in his leg. Risa knew that something was wrong because he was also not eating. She saw this man go from a 3X to a 2X. Risa thought it was like something like a cancer. She don't know. She tells Legion, I'm going to your next appointment because this isn't right. Now, guys, we skipped the June 17th, which is Legion's birthday. If it's his birthday. I mean, at this point, if, if, it's everything's if to me. Risa calls up the pastor, tells him all the news. And the pastor was mind blown. But he also was like, I can tell something was off of that motherfucker. What you gonna do now? Risa was like, I'm going to end it. I'm not staying with no liar. Especially when he lied about his ex-wife's daughter dying. What the? F no, no. Also around this time, Risa was offered that new job. So she put in there two weeks. She called off work to prepare for transitioning for it. 
Legion was so sick, he would go to work, but called off often. He also left the condiment company and started working for Apple. I don't know how you go from VP to Apple, but you know, okay. So I guess this man was sleeping in his bed, right? Risa grabs his work phone, which doesn't have service, but it still had the data from when it was used. And she found some text from him and a woman named Peaches. Now, Peaches was a, uh, I don't want to say a, a, a SW, a salesman for some kitty. In the text, she's listing prices, 40 for a hand job, 60 for oral, more if no condom. And these messages weren't like back to back. There's like gaps. So a few weeks before in May, you see text from Legion saying, thank you so much. That was great. A gap, a message from Peaches saying, hey, I'm at the new spot. Legion saying, I'm coming to see you. Is it this place with the trash can? Because I'm guessing he pulled up. Boom. Thanks again for another good night. Like, bro, I'll tell you right now, if it was me, if it was me, I'd be exploding. I'd be exploding. <laughs> but Risa, she wasn't phased by this at all. She was like, I know what this man is. She ain't cry. She didn't feel like it was her fault. She said, if anything, she felt relieved because she didn't want to do this divorce because, you know, she like a Christian. But after this, she was like, oh, yeah, thank <laughs> yes, thank, thank you, God. Thank you. <laughs> she takes pictures with her phone, puts it back. Risa fed up. She like, yup, he out. I'm kicking this man out. Now, remember, it's June 17th. It's his birthday. She goes in a room, sits on the corner of his bed. And with the calmest energy, she's like, Legion? He was watching YouTube on the phone. He like, yeah, what's up? Now, I'm going to ask you something. And I want you to be honest. He started to get defensive. Risa like, ah, 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 ah. don't do all that. Now, you've never been to San Diego State or California, have you? He's like, bruh, of course I did. I even showed you the picture of the house that I lived in. And my dad paid for me to be a private citizen. Nah, nah. I called them. They don't have no record of you. Because you never went. You've never been to California. Legion looking at her emotionless. And I bet you've only been to Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island. Now a little something starts to show up in Legion's eyes. Reese is like, I don't think this is going to work. Legion's like, what? The marriage? You don't want to be married no more? I don't want to be married to you anymore. We tried. But I think it's time for us to go our separate ways. Legion's like, that's that's not what marriage is. We supposed to fight for this. No, nah, no, nah, I don't want this. And I don't want to fight for it. I don't want you. I don't want this. I do not want green eggs and ham. <laughs> Legion's like, I'm not giving up on the two of you. You don't have a choice. I think you need to call your brother or sister now. And you need to pick a bag and get the fuck out of my house. I ain't gonna hold you guys. When I was watching her tell the story, I said it at the same time as her. I was like, yeah, you gotta get the fuck. You, you got it. Legion's like, I don't have time for this. Reese's like, I don't care. You got to go. You got to get. Go to your brothers. Go to your sisters in Douglasville. Now, at first, he refused. Then he called up his aunt. His aunt was like, what's up, baby? He over here like, this girl tripping. I don't know what's wrong with her. I, I ain't never lied to her. And guys, I'm telling you. I'm, t I'm telling you right now. Risa heard that and every bit of calmness left her body. All she could see was red like that Carrie movie. Y'all know, that girl gets bullied at prom, and then she ends up doing supernatural stuff, burns down the whole school, kill everybody. Risa called her mom screaming, cussing. And remember, her mom a child of God, so like when she heard this, she was like, put that man on the phone. She hand that man the phone, and after that, her eyes start darting around that motherfucker. She looking for weapons. She look at the lamp, she look at the TV, she look at the dresser. <laughs> Risa's mom like, listen, Legion, I am not there to control my daughter. But in the name of Jesus, Lord, please grab your things and get up out that house because she might kill you. Now, Legion's aunt hears all of that. She's like, hey, 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 nephew, nephew, just come home back to Philly and I'll send you some money. <clears throat> Which I swear that choked me when I heard that. Leave that house because I think that woman is going to kill you. Reese is like, what? 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 He got money up in that offshore account and that Chase account. On God, guys, I swear we're all saying that in our heads. Like, what, bro, has you're going to send him some money? 
Reese was like, look, you got two options. You leave involuntarily or involuntarily. Legion in the bed like, don't talk to me like you lost your mind. You ain't gonna do shit. And oh my God, guys, Risa gets real close. And she's like, I will beat you like the bitch that you are. I dare you. I dare you to try me. I will beat you like the male bitch that you are. <laughs> Risa start pacing through the house. She's like, I'm probably going to jail today. I'm probably not going to have a job tomorrow. She yanked the covers off the bed and said, get up. He just looking at her. She look over at the lamp. Legion look. He's like, oh, she dead ass. Legion gets up. The aunt's like, keep me on the phone. He packs all he can in two bags and starts getting ready to leave. Now, guys, while Legion has been bedridden, he wouldn't eat much. But he was drinking all types of Powerade. And Risa was like, man, this man just downing Powerade. Like, what's going on? Now, she notices a bunch of them all, like, lined up next to the bed. But they're full of something. She's like, you know, I I haven't seen this man go pee. He, I don't, he never leaves the bed. Is he peeing in those bottles? Risa like, what is that? Legion like, it's cool. I'm going to throw it out. He start throwing them in the trash. Is that piss? Legion like, I couldn't make it to the bathroom. Oh, hell no. Get the fuck out. Risa grabs his bags, throws it in the car for him, takes the lanyard off his keys, and it took him about two hours to get his stuff together. As he was heading out, he was like, are you really going to kick me out on my birthday? Is it? Is it? Is it, Legion? Is it really your birthday? I don't know anymore. Risa's like, get, get on. He gets in the car and pulls off. Now, at this point, Reese's mom still don't know everything he lied about. She didn't even tell Legion that she called his ex-wife, which I'm very happy about because that means you kept your promise and I'm very proud of her. Because low-key, if it was me, I'd be like, no, I called your ex, mother. Like, I <laughs> she texts the landlord saying, hey, I'm changing the locks. I got an emergency. An hour later, she got the whole bedroom cleaned up and she threw away anything that Legion touched. Then she packed all his stuff and put it in the TV room. She still wasn't in a place to cry. She just had so much adrenaline. He left a lot of things. But one thing he left was a photo album of his like mom and dad and like siblings like when they're younger and stuff like that. Risa thought about having a burn party on Facebook where she would just burn all the pictures and stuff. But she was like, nah, nah, burning the deceased parents is just crazy. That's just heartless. She ain't that heartless. It's crazy because back in May, she was preparing for his birthday and ordered him like a really fancy cake. Right after this, she went to go pick up that cake, brought it to her family's house, told them the story, and they just ate that thing together. The grandpa was like, mm, he ain't look like no football player, so I knew something was weird. She went back home, changed the codes on her security system. Legion would later call and let her know. He made it to Philly. He with the aunt. Then, about a week after, Risa and Legion have a talk about divorce. <laughs> I'm too happy. Oh, I'm too happy. Risa was like, okay, who's going to file? Legion's like, I don't want a divorce, so I'm going to fight it. Risa's in her head like, really? Re after, really? After all of this? But one thing that Risa learned, in the state of Georgia, if you got no kids, no house, like property, it's easily going to be an uncontested divorce. Risa's like, look, what stuff do you want to keep? Legion's like, why can't we just work this out? Can we just talk? Risa's like, uh, no, we're done talking. Risa said by the time she was putting this story on TikTok, she found out a lot more, like a lot more lies. Everything that we know now is only like 5%. It's now June 24th. She goes to print her documents. She went and paid and filed it. She also had the last document and all she had to do was go get Legion to sign it. Now it's been like four days. Risa gets a call from somebody. It was Legion's cousin. Risa's like, I don't know how she found me. Maybe some kind of mutual. I don't, I don't know. But she says this. Hey, this is Legion's cousin. He's over here with us, with his family. He's over here telling the whole family that you kicked him out after he walked in on you having an affair. And he said you stole his money. Then you kicked him out. And the man that you were having an affair with was a law enforcement officer. And he used his duty weapon to kick my cousin out the house. Guys, I, when I heard this shit, bro, I know all of us screaming, you can't make this shit up. 
You can't make this shit up, yo. And then the cousin says, I'm reaching out to you because we know this man. We know what he do and we know he lying. I just wanted to know if it was true. I just wanted to know the story. Because this is the first time we heard about you. We didn't even know he was married. Guys, if this ain't good to you, I don't know what is. I don't know. Risa's just listening to this like, Risa's like, what do you mean? He talks to his brothers all the time. The cousin's like, brothers? Risa's like, yeah, he has four of them. The cousin's like, no. He has one older brother and a twin brother. You heard that right, guys. Legion has a twin brother. What, what is this story? What is happening? Legion must be like a, a medium for how many people he just made up. All these like dead people that don't exist. <laughs> I see dead people. Like, I, I don't know what's up, bro. So the cousin runs down the entire family tree, basically finds out that obviously Legion sits on a throne of lies. Reese is just like, ah, like, ah, like. <laughs> Later, Legion leaves Philly to come back to Augusta. And Reese is like, okay, it's, it's time to get that signature. She gets in the car with her aunt and little cousin, and they drive to Augusta. They meet up with Legion, and she asks him to sign it. Legion's like, uh, I don't got time. I'll do it later. Reese is like, what? Nah, no, nah, I need that now. She didn't say that, but she was thinking it. So she left, and it wasn't quite clear, but she pulled up like the next day, if like not the next week. And they meet up at UPS. She says she saw this man get out the car. He was looking homeless, looked like he ain't been taking care of himself. He's still losing weight. He looked like he was like a 1X now. He walks in the store. She said this man was smelling terrible. Like he looked homeless and smelled homeless. Like it was insane. She was just like, <laughs> <laughs> she said she couldn't even recognize him. And low key, it, it broke her heart. But it didn't break it enough to not get that signature <laughs> on G-O-D. She shows him the paper, says sign here, sign here. Gave it to the UPS person to notarize it. She's like, okay, bye, Legion. Take care of yourself. And she goes. And they both drive home. Now, guys, I'm ending it right there. I truly believe that's like most of the story. I think there's like 10 more parts, but basically it's just her finding more and more and more lies. But I think we got the gist here. We got the we got the tea. We drank it all in five. Okay, we got we get the gist. So this was a cool run. Now that I'm caught up, I need to see what... I, I've been seeing a lot of stuff on TikTok. They saying all types of stuff. The real Legion showed up. He making TikToks. I, the, I hear the wife made a TikTok. I don't know what's happening. So I'm going to go look at some research. And then I might come back with a video on that, y'all. But other than that, guys, <laughs> what do you think about this? Guys, we are becoming a problem. 1.5 mil? And Facebook kept banning us, so we made a YouTube. We kept putting in the work, and now we're getting a play button, y'all. We about to get a play button. Now, as I told you guys, I'm really a music artist. I love making music, but I make all these videos because you like them. So can you please follow the page for me? Now, outside of all this, remember, dead gang, it was just you, and you had a plan. You have come too far to end it right here. Did you forget all that work you just put in? I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life. And on Dead and Them, we ain't going out like no weak motherfucker. If they want us out the game, they're going to have to take it from us. So when this video goes off, don't forget to pop your shit, star. I would have done anything. All you had to do was ask. And all of the damage is done. I can't imagine never taking you back. Is it that hard to keep it a stack? Cause all of your promises looking like cap. Cause when I was calling your phone, I already knew where you at. <laughs> I tried to give you a chance while you doing me dirty. I thought you'd be the last one to hurt me. Till you put a knife in my back. You cannot say I didn't love you to death. Baby, I knew you was bad for my health, but I thought I was covered by reinsurance. That you would give me, it kills me to know that I would give a kidney if you got sick. Just to find out what you really had wanted on all this time you were hitting a lick Don't try to tell me I'm misunderstanding You know I don't know, I like to be gaslit This ain't the first time you ever did fraud It's just the first time that you got caught Man